Okay. I'm here to relieve you of the misconception that doing or not doing these things make you a so-called fake fan. Okay you all probably think this is something small and well. It is but I'm starting off with smaller issues and then gradually build up the seriousness. I can't remember my dad's birthday. My brother's birthdays. Hell I nearly forgot my own birthday last year so what would I look like remembering someone's who will never know I exist. But seriously this literally doesn't even matter like. It's a birthday what are you gonna do? Give him or her a birthday post on Twitter or Instagram. They probably won't see it anyways. Again this one isn't a big deal either but there are legit some stands who get heated seeing people make fun of their faves. I say if it's lighthearted and not something that would offend the idol why should we care? Just like if I were to say this literally how Lucas from NCT acts when they go on V-Live. Big nigga season. Don't be surprised when your girl tell you she leaving. Or if I said this is how Sol G looked when she tried to do that sexy freestyle dance last year. And don't even lie in those comments y'all. Just don't. Being a loyal fan is so stupid in my opinion. I get it standing other groups might be stressful or whatever but calling yourself loyal for sticking with one group is just overrating your unwillingness to expand your stand list. Like why would I just want to eat pizza for the rest of my life when I can have tacos, hot wings and sushi. I'm pretty sure we all know fan wars are a prevailing epidemic in K-pop and maybe even in western pop. I wouldn't know because I don't stan. But besides that not being involved in it doesn't make you any less a fan than the girl or guy willing to shank someone because they said so and so group sucks. I won't act like I'm holier than thou and say I haven't succumbed the temptation of fan wars because I have but that's just because I'm naturally a confrontational and argumentative person. That's not something to be exactly proud of but that's what I am. But that in no way means you have to be like that. Right so maybe streaming will get your group trending and a plaque from YouTube but other than that it doesn't do much. Yes it is one of the limited things international stands can do to support the group but trying to guilt trip others into doing it makes my ass itch. I hate y'all niggas. Y'all niggas make my ass itch and I'm talking about for real. Like it's never that deep and you should never feel bad for not continuously doing it. We know and understand that you have a life outside of being a K-pop stan in these streets and we respect that. Now obviously you'd have to like the group's music in the first place but that doesn't mean you have to like all of their songs. It's completely fine to like and dislike certain songs on their albums. You are human and humans have a brain and their brain makes decisions that include doing stuff like deciding if you like something or not. And not liking one or two songs from an artist doesn't turn you away from them completely it just shows you aren't superficial. Not saying that if you do like all your fave songs you are superficial. I, um, anyways you guys get what I mean. Subconsciously, you would think that this is something fans do all the time, but it's not and unfortunately it's not fair but it's real life. Some of us can't afford tickets and some of us are way too busy to match up against the super fans who sell out arenas after 5 minutes of the tickets going out. And I stopped buying merchandise when I was 12 because after the group cough cough one direction disbanded I didn't know what to do with all this stuff. I had a teddy bear, a pillow, movies, dog tags. Stickers, tattoos, magazines, etc. All wasted ultimately. But that's completely in my opinion and if you still wanna buy merchandise knock yourself out. Now this one might seem a bit more controversial but I promise this is almost equivalent to not liking some of their songs. You can be disappointed with some of your friend's actions. You can be disappointed with a movie or book's ending. You can be disappointed with your faves' comebacks. 
Like I said earlier you're human and we have a brain to allow us to do that. I won't say what group but I was recently disappointed with three of my faves comebacks and in the beginning I tried to ignore the feeling but realized it's absolutely okay for that feeling to be present. Seriously it's okay to not like certain comebacks. Okay, so this is a big one. Like, sit tight guys. Okay half of y'all must have laughed at how dramatic I made this and the other half must be looking at me like I'm crazy. Or listening to me like I'm crazy. Outing your faves is a good thing because if they see it came from a fan they will take the time to correct their mistake and or ignorance and the world is one step closer to being a happier place. I even give my favorite groups the side eye once in a while. Just thinking about the shit they've done even if they have grown away from that mindset. I want you all to remember we live in the age of technology. How did most of you find out about pop Going on the internet am I right? Pop fans get upset if their family calls them Chinese because we know the culture is different and it's disrespectful to call them all one race. You correct your family to the best of your ability and you should always do the same with your idols. You love your idols and you want the best for them and that should include with them being well educated and acknowledging the wrongdoings they've done in the past. Okay that is literally all I can think of for this video. I hope you enjoyed it all. At least it got you thinking and debating. A reaction is a reaction. Am I right ladies? But seriously thank you for staying towards the end. Like, comment and subscribe. Or don't. Bye.